children, welcome to today's class on physical and health education. I am still your favorite PhD teacher, Mr. Okoronkwo Jackson Jonathan. Today we'll be talking about games. Today we'll be talking about games. Remember that in our last class we talked about athletics. Remember we talked about athletics and we say that athletics as sports activities are divided into two, which are track events and field events. And we also said that field events include your run, include your jumping. We also said that field events include your jumping, your throwing, and any other game we do on the field. Today we want to talk about games. I believe you all love to do games. In one way or the other, you must have seen yourself doing games, indirectly or directly. Now let's define what game is. Games are activities. Games are activities which players compete against each other. Games are activities in which players compete against each other by following a set of rules. Let me repeat that. Games are activities in which players compete against others following a set of rules. In other words, in every game, there is or there are rules for the, for the game. In every game, there are rules for the game. If you don't follow those rules, that means you are not playing according to what the game wants. We have different forms of games. We have local games. We have ball games. But today, we want to talk about local games. Sometimes, during your break time or during your leisure time, or when you go outside, you see your elderly ones playing some little, little games. More especially the small ones that are within primary 4, primary 5, primary 6, even some of them in JSS class. You see them playing games like um, there is fire on the mountain, run, run, run. There is fire on the mountain. And then you see them in a cycle. When they are seated in a cycle, you see somebody running around, running around the ones that are seated. Now at a point, you see that person drops something. And then somebody picks it up and the person that the thing was dropped on his or her back picks it up and starts pushing the person. The person will run until he fills up the space. So that is an example of local games. Fire on the mountain. There is also another form of local game we call 10-10. 10-10. These local games are games that children play for fun. We call them local games because they are peculiar to a set of persons, for children especially. That 10 10 is the one that we have two persons. Now, what they do is they will be singing 10 10 10 10. Now, as they are singing it, they are clapping. As they are singing it, they are clapping. They are shaking their waist and they are swinging their leg. What is the essence of this game? Or what is the aim of this game? The aim of this game is that the person that is leading will keep leading. While the person that is being led will have to fight to make sure that he or she takes over the leading. So the leading starts with you swinging your leg, either you close it or you open it or you raise it. Either you close it or you open it or you raise it. So when you are swinging your leg and your opponent closes your leg, closes her leg or his leg, and you also close your leg, that means your opponent caught you. So the leading will now be transferred to him or her. That is that 10-10. Then we also have other local games like cat and rat. We also have other local games like cat and rat. Then we also have rats and rabbits. These are forms of local games. I believe by the time you advance in your age, you'll find yourself playing these local games, especially when you go out for your leisure time. 
I hope you really enjoyed today's class on local games. See you next time we meet and bye bye.